here and happy first day of fall. Well, I guess I'm filming this the first day of fall, so tomorrow's, so this will be the second day of fall for you, but still, happy fall. I'm so excited. It has officially started. It is still currently 93 degrees outside of my house right now, and it was 100 today, so we still haven't gotten any hint of fall weather yet, but hopefully that is coming soon. <laughs> Last video, I did a horror book haul, and today I wanted to give you a little bit of a fall haul. The things that I have bought so far. Oh, oh. Ah, wait, wait. Ooh. So this is my first purchase. Yes, I just taped them up here, so if you see the tape, that's okay. But these are from the dollar store, and that was my first purchase that I made. I picked up a few other little things here and there, and so I thought I would just give you a little fall haul to get in the mood for this October spooky season. I'm so excited for it. The first thing that I bought along with these guys from the dollar the dollar tree was this creepy sign i thought it was so cute so i'll have to cut the tag on it and you know set it up somewhere i still have another bookshelf to add and I'll, hopefully i'll be able to do that eventually but we just found out that we might have to be moving so i'm debating do i set it up and then move all of my books or do i wait until after i don't know but anyways yeah that was the first thing i bought it was only a dollar same with these guys this is two strands of them the next thing that i bought was this guy so this is just a little skull it has the different bones labeled on the skull so like the frontal bone and temporal and lower jaw bone and all sorts of stuff so i thought that this was really cool and would be a nice little decoration this one was $14.99, but I think it was 40% off, so you could do the math on that because I am an idiot. So, uh, yeah, this is my little friend. I thought that he was really cool. Oh, no, and my husband dropped him on the ground, and I kept saying, stop throwing my head, because he kept, like, tossing it in the air, and he dropped it on the ground outside the store right after we bought it, and now there's a giant fisher. Oh, no, his skull is smashed. Can you see? But anyways, I thought that this was really cute. Yeah, this is his guy. What is his name? Let me know. And he, I will have to, you know, redecorate and eventually he will become part of the decor. I bought this little book. This is just, it says Psychic Fortunes Past, Present, and Future. But I got it for a friend. I think I'm just going to give this to one of my friends because I think that they would like this. So uh, I just got this. I don't know what the price is on this because I already took it off. I think it was a few dollars, but again, I think it was 40% off. Oh, by the way, I should probably tell you where I got these. These ones I got at Michael's. This and this skull and this next thing is from Michael's too, which I'm really excited about. It's this cute little sign and it's obviously, you know, a Ouija board and it says, welcome to our home sweet haunted home. And I just thought this was a really cute thing to have up all year round. So it's just a little guy that hangs up. I have no idea where we are going to hang it, but maybe on our fireplace, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I still have my Christmas wreath and my Christmas sign up on my fireplace. So maybe I'll finally take that down and maybe I'll hang this instead. But I just thought that this was really cool to have. This was $21, but again, I think this was 40% off too. And then the next thing that I got, a whole lot of candles. Whoa, oh, oh, one second. So we went to the mall and we had the dogs in the car. My husband's name is Brian. I'm just going to call him Brian from now on. So Brian was, was um, in the car with the dogs and I'm like, I'm just going to run in because we had to grab our uh, wedding invitations from the place, from some place in the mall. And then, so I ran in to get the invitations, which took five seconds because we did everything online and they were all paid for and stuff. And then I walked past um, Bath and Body Works and I was like, oh no, I need fall candles. So I ended up spending like 20 minutes in there and I got back in the car and, I, and Brian's like, what happened? <laughs> why, why do you have a bag full of stuff and why did that take an hour? And I was like, I how to prepare for fall. So these are the pumpkin candles that I got or fallish candles that I got from Bath and Body Works. They have so many, by the way, a ridiculous amount. I'm not a huge candle person, but we've already used like half of this one. So I think that this fall, it'll smell very fall in here. And every, every day Brian gets home from work, he's like, it smells like fall in here. I'm like, yes, that's, that's exactly what I want. This is the first one. This is pumpkin bonfire. This might be my favorite. It just smells so good. It smells like pumpkin, but not too strong. But then there's also like a hint of that bonfire-ish smell. I don't know. I really like this one. These were like 25, these are 25.50 each, 
but I think they're like buy two get two free so they come out to like 12 bucks which isn't terrible but I did spend a stupid amount of money on them and then I got autumn day this one I really do like but I don't know what it smells like I don't know that it necessarily smells like autumn. I would say that this kind of smells like a oaky, woody men's cologne. It was also hard to smell these in the store because you have to, where we live, you have to wear a mask. So I don't know that I would have gotten these specific ones had I had like, you know, the full scent of them. I don't know about this one, but it might be good once it's lit and it has the whole house smelling. But this one is a pumpkin spice latte candle. I really like the design of this one. I think it's just so cute. And this one smells like caramel. I don't smell any pumpkin or like coffee. It's not bad, but probably not my favorite scent in the world either. This one's, I think, my favorite looking one. And this one is white pumpkin oak. Oh yeah, that's, this one might actually be my favorite more so than the bonfire one. That's really nice. White pumpkin oak wood. Yeah, it just smells like woody, maybe a little cinnamony. I don't really smell pumpkin. Although what the f does a white pumpkin smell like? But this one actually I think is my favorite and I think this one will be the best scented one for the house. So yeah, these two I'm not the hugest fan of, the Latte and the Autumn Day, but maybe I will change my mind. I'll keep you updated. And then I got like a pumpkin soap, hand soap. I got pumpkin. This one's called Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Hand Sanitizer. This one and the hand soap I don't think smell like pumpkin at all. And that was all from Bath and Body Works. So that is um, my pumpkin candle. <laughs> but I just got a few things here and there, nothing too crazy. But I did want to ask you guys if you have any suggestions for specific videos that you want to see for October. I'm going to try to be posting a little bit more often. So I just am curious if, you, if there's anything specific that you guys want to hear. Do you want to hear about movies more or books more or crafts or, you know, what, what kind of videos do you want to see? So that is it for this video. I know it was a little short, but I just wanted to show you my fall stuff. Wish you a happy fall and I'm very excited to celebrate Halloween and October with you guys this year. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday with another horror video. Bye guys.